All right, so I just want to make a quick video on how to diagnose uh, no crank, no start, uh, no click, or no, sorry, click, no start. You know, you get the point. You don't. Either the, the shit ain't starting either way you look at it. First of all, I'd like to say if this video helped you in any which way, could you like, comment, or subscribe? Even a like would be awesome. You know, it means that uh, means you know that's pretty cool. I don't know, whatever. Let's get to the engine. Uh, right below here, actually, the problem with this car was the cast module. <clears throat> Because I was getting uh, code terminal CAS 50. And sometimes that can be a ground wire on the engine. But it actually turned out to be the CAS module itself. Now I had two bad ground clamps on the engine. Which were completely rotted off. And I'm assuming that's why it short circuited and took out this CAS module. <clears throat> I'll insert a little picture of what happens when it blows. It's called a diode, and I'll explain that later. But <clears throat> let's go with the engine. So now over here, <clears throat> your starter is right under here. I took this shit out three times already. I don't want to explain it again. Take out all this plastic. You're gonna get a little white box right over here. Okay, now this is where your DME is held. Sometimes these, these get waterlogged if you live in southern states and you know what I mean? A lot of rain, a lot of water and shit goes in there. <clears throat> Basically, see these wires? Two of them. Now this is coming out of your cast module. And that's, we'll talk about that later. This white wire right here. Now if you've ever replaced a starter on these cars before, you re you're going to recognize this wire goes right to the solenoid. So let's take this clip off. Try to do it one-handed. Gonna be a little bit hard. Ow. Here we go. See, it's number four. Number four is this white one. <coughs> Sorry, I got some sort of mucus. I was just eating watermelon too, so I got like seeds and everything. Irritating. Anyways, this big copper plug right here. Now I've just got a normal piece of house wire. I, I, I found it somewhere. And I cut it to both the length of my hand, that's all you need. Strip both ends and jam one of them right into the end of this clip here. Now this isn't gonna hurt you, this isn't gonna shock you. Don't be scared, just do it. Get in there. Get get. Good enough. Now this right here is your positive B post on your car. <coughs> now this will tell you if this starts, no sorry it won't start because the fuel pump's unplugged. I'm not getting power because that's unplugged. But if your starter's good this will tell you. Okay that was in gear. Hold on a second. What the fuck am I drinking? Make sure it's a neutral. Anyways, touch this to here. So that tells me we have a good starter. Now, plug that back in. Now we'll go to the inside of the car and I'll show you how to diagnose the issue from the cast module. <sighs> okay, here's the cast module. Again, there's YouTube videos explaining how to get this cable off, but I guess I'll do it real quick. Looks like this under here. Pull this off, push this clip in, just gonna pull that off. You're left with all these plugs. <clears throat> now that white wire we just seen, connected to the black wire that comes into here, that's terminal number 22. Number 21. 21 is your 12 volt input to the cast module. 22 is the black wire that goes to the starter. It connects to the white wire, you know, you know what I mean. Now. I've had to cut these wires for other tests, so I'm gonna hook this real quick, and then hook this up real quick, and then we'll, I'll show you how to test it from inside the car, if you don't wanna take all those panels off. All right, I've got all these wires hooked up. I've just clipped two of them on the back, 21 and 22, to do another test, see them? The red wire and the black wire, don't worry about that, you don't have to do that. I did it for other tests. Here's my little wire. I flattened the ends out on them. This is just a piece of aluminum wire. Don't use soldering wire. And no, it's not going to shock you. Now you're going to hook these two up. 
Again, it's hard to do one-handed. Hold on a second. Get over there. So. Uh, hard to do one-handed. See it? See it? Get in there. See it? You hear that? <clears throat> that was the car trying to start, but again, we have the fuel pump unplugged, so it's not going to start. <clears throat> but that's a quick test. How oh, the seats are hot. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyways, uh, if this helped you at all, could you like, comment, and subscribe? Thank you very much.